rain, and precipitation. It's something that you teach in your classroom. And I have a fun activity that will take that unit to a whole new level. And I'm going to share it with you right after this. Hey everyone, Stephen Fight here. Thanks for stopping by today. Please be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified each time I post a new video. Also, consider liking and sharing this video with your fellow teachers. And if you like the content, if you like the idea, please consider leaving a comment. Rain and precipitation. It's one of those basic science concepts we teach young children so that they may better understand the world in which they live. Well, if we're gonna talk about this concept in the classroom, we will definitely have to talk about clouds. And children will want to know, what is a cloud made of? What does it look like up close? Well, this activity will answer those questions. I picked up this cool science activity from a friend of mine, Steve Spangler, the science guy. Now to make this fun activity work in your classroom, all you'll need is a sonic humidifier, 36 inches of rubber hose, you can pick that up at a hardware store, Dawn dishwashing soap, 100% pure glycerin, which you can pick up at most any hair care store, and of course, duct tape. Everybody needs duct tape. Duct tape makes everything work. So you will tape the end of the rubber hose to the top of your humidifier or wherever the mist is emitted. Now to make your bubble solution, all you'll need is one cup of water, one tablespoon of glycerin, and one tablespoon of dishwashing soap. But this is the opposite of a James Bond martini, so be sure you don't shake it. Be sure to stir it. Let it sit for 24 hours and you are ready to make some bubble clouds. All you'll need to do is put that bubble solution in a container, stick the end of that hose in, and watch the magic happen. The children will go crazy as they see an actual cloud inside of a bubble. And whenever you pop that bubble, for a few seconds, you will see the content of a cloud all of that moisture disappearing into the air. Be sure to have some soft cloth gloves ready to put on your children's hands. When you do that, you can place the bubble in their palm and see how long it will stay there. It will be really neat for them to be able to check out the cloud up close and personal. Usually, depending on the humidity that day, the bubble should stay right there in that cloth glove for quite a few seconds. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's activity and that you'll be able to put it to use in your classroom as soon as possible. Now, if you're looking for some more precipitation fun for your room, I would encourage you to go down to the description below and check out a link for a YouTube video called It's Raining on Our Heads right here on my YouTube channel. All you'll need for that is a spray bottle full of water and a carpeted area. Now, if you're looking for a new song about rain in your classroom, check out mine called The Rain Song. It played at the very beginning of our video and will play at the very end as well. And I've posted a link back to the website so you can listen to a sample down in the description below. Also, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Steve Spangler with Steve Spangler Science. I've posted a link to his website in the description below as well. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love for you to comment below and let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any ideas that you use in the classroom to teach rain, precipitation, water cycle. Would love for you to post those below as well for any teachers that might be watching this video afterwards. All right, everybody, go sing your way through the day. Fall.